Hello and welcome back to Life in Recovery. Did you know that you have 300 bones in your body when you were born, but by the time you reach adulthood you only have about 206? Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about perfectionism and the um, pursuit of being perfect and perfectionism is something which is culturally becoming more and more pronounced. Um, but this relentless drive to meet standards which are unattainable can lead to chronic unhappiness and dissatisfaction because that's the thing about perfection. It's not it's not something you can ever reach um, and it's not realistic and unfortunately um, the person who is seeking that perfection is rarely satisfied with the outcome and so many people can seek approval from um, society in the wider world um, by battling to achieve this this mystical thing called perfection and along the way they can ignore the many wonderful things they feel and create and experience because these things don't meet their perfect standard. And a lot of perfectionists believe that this drive to be perfect um, allows them to achieve bigger and better things than, than other people. However, beating yourself up when you don't meet these unattainable standards of yours will only lead to disappointment and it can, it can really erode your self-esteem. And thinking of your, of your life in, in black and white, so one minute you're a success and the next you're a complete and utter failure, can add an edge of extremism to your life that isn't necessary. And catastrophizing what's merely a bump in the road or a little blip and labelling it a failure and yourself as a failure can do a lot of damage. You're sending yourself the message constantly that you're not good enough and that nothing you do can ever be good enough. Perfectionists also can find it hard to open up to people and to admit their vulnerabilities or things they perceive as weaknesses. And unfortunately this, this trait only adds um, to the person's sense of dissatisfaction and it can lead to that person feeling quite alienated and isolated. And this doesn't help because a lot of perfectionists um, can sometimes feel innately guilty or full of shame and a lot of them tend to use this drive for perfection to cover up those feelings or to somehow um, compensate for those, those, that, those feelings of guilt and shame. So, um, how can we be kinder to ourselves and to others um, by relaxing this desire for perfection? Well, there's lots of ways um, you might be able to help overcome um, perfectionism or, or to dilute it or to dial it down a little bit. And one of these is to regain perspective. So think about, think about what you might say to a friend um, in the same situation or what a friend might say to you. Um, taking a, a, a step back and, and looking at the bigger picture can really help as well. So putting things into in, in context can take some of the sting out of um, a perceived failure. And another tool um, which might be useful to practice is how to compromise. So, you know, no one can do everything right all the time and something's got to give. And remembering that 
some of the things we love most about our friends and families are their quirks and their idiosyncrasies and the th things that make them them. We don't, we don't love them because they're perfect. So practicing self-acceptance can go a can go a long way um, in helping leave perfectionist tendencies behind. And with that in mind, with self-acceptance in mind, I have um, some bloopers, some outtakes to show you um, where I've messed up or made a mistake in some of my previous videos. And hopefully this might show you in, a, in an odd way that actually making a mistake isn't the end of the world and actually it it allows you to grow and adapt and to learn um, and sometimes they're maybe even worth laughing about. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I'm even recording. There we go. Uh. Oh, the light's going to go crazy of... Oh, that's a fly. Oh. Okay, now we're going to do that again. So, here's the... Um, now on to um, nuts. And these are some Brazil nuts. And, whoops, dropped that one. Now on to some nuts. Brazil nut. Next on the list are Brazil nut. Oh gosh, why do I always need the toilet when I sit down to film? Oh gosh, I need the toilet. Well, I hope this video has helped a little bit. And if you have any tips on how to um, create balance and accept yourself, then um, please leave a comment. Um, all of the links um, to the blog and social media are in the um, information box below. Um, and I'll just leave you with this quote from Amanda Quindlen, who is an American journalist. And she wrote, um, The thing that is really hard and really amazing is giving up on being perfect and beginning the work of becoming yourself. So until next time, goodbye.